Hey guys, welcome back to this channel and this video is going to be especially for my friends who are just starting their career as a DevOps engineer who are still in college and planning to get into DevOps or site reliability engineering, planning to do system engineering, right? So this video is going to be specially for us. So in this video, I'm not going to teach any tech or any stuff like that. I'm actually going to talk about the trend which I'm seeing these days. Uh, I mean, especially on my YouTube, there's a lot of videos getting recommended about how people who are just starting their career, like maybe a year or two into DevOps have switched their conventional job and moved into freelancing and how they are earning <coughs> hundreds and thousands of rupees they're earning in dollars and they show show that off on internet right but that is that is what actually is hurting the uh, i think i would say the community that that is what is hurting the community because uh, especially early in your career i would never suggest you that you don't go for a conventional job and start doing freelancing no doubt i'm not against freelancing freelancing is really good there's a lot of money you don't actually are answerable to anyone you are your own boss kind of stuff right although you're answerable to the person whose project you're working on but i mean just for the saying that you you're on your own boss you work uh, on the timings that suits you right so there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of flexibility but i have few points that i want the new especially young devops engineers to take into consideration before thinking of leaving a conventional job for freelancing, especially early in your careers, at least work in a conventional job for good five, seven years, and then think of moving to do freelancing, right? Because then you'll have the kind of experience required for freelancing, right? You'll be lucky you'll get a project, no doubt. I mean, even if you start early, there's a bunch of project on Upwork. I mean, if you just go on Upwork, you'll type the DevOps project, you will have like hundreds and thousands of projects available on on, up, on Upwork itself. There are a bunch of other sites. So yeah, uh, let's start the video. And my first point is learning. So the kind of learning you get when you work in a conventional company in a large scale or big scale company is is very different from what you learn when you are doing freelancing right because in a conventional job you have to work with a bunch of people you have to you see the implementation of the same tools you've learned in a very entirely different way in an entirely different way those tools are implemented in a large scale company the practices the processes they're very structured so you learn how how the things are working right so that's that's the kind of learning you can only get when you're working with a, a company in a conventional job. Next point is mentorship. So when you're working in a company, uh, you probably work, especially when you get started, right? When you were just starting with, with your job, uh, you get to work with some really, really amazing minds, some really experienced people. They, I mean, you form a mentor mentee relationship you get guidance from them you basically create your own network right so even in i mean and networking is very important in it right because when you move from one company to another 90 percent of the time it's like someone from your company has moved to that company and then you also move so networking is also very important so networking is another big part when you're working in a conventional company which is actually missing when you just work as a freelancer because mostly you are working as a consultant, as an individual contributor for that team. You don't rarely interact with the employees of that company or maybe sometimes it's not even a company, it's just some guy from United States that has given you a project, right? So, so it's, I mean, you can understand it's entirely different. Number three is the large scale project that you get to work on, right? I mean, you can imagine the kind of project you get as a freelancer because those are very small scale project. I mean, mostly people put those, that kind of work that for which they don't want their team to get involved or they don't have time. So it's mostly like a day or two project that you complete. Sometimes it's a large scale project, even on a freelancing job, which can last for like a few months. 
so you get those kind of project but when you're working with a company like a big large scale company uh, some some something like uh, facebook google microsoft right uh, oracle salesforce the scale which you work I mean, these companies they are running hundreds and thousands of servers right so the kind of work you do impacts like so many people but when you are doing a freelance job i mean you are rather not worried or care you don't re- actually care about the kind of impact you bringing to the world so that's that's another thing which is missing when you you actually miss out when when you're working as a freelancer probably you make the money but you miss on the impact and my last point is towards job security i mean i understand in today's world even in software companies big software companies job is not guaranteed given the layoffs and stuff like that happening very recently but i mean compared to a freelance job if you compare it to a freelance job it's still a thousand times better because even if you get laid off right these companies they offer you amazing severance package 6 months of your salary 8 months of your salary then you get bonuses you get your stocks and stuff like that and when you're working in these companies you have benefits like health health insurance life insurance you get stocks right uh you have 401k in us uh, in india you get like bonuses and stuff like that which which is like just too too good uh as a freelance engineer you get just the rate you 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 both parties have agreed on it can be 10 dollars 20 dollars per hour whatever dollars you have agreed on so that's that's the only thing you get you don't get any health insurance any life insurance you don't get any stocks and stuff like that and plus the person who's on the other end who has given you the project he can shut down the project without any commitment without any even intimation right and you are not liable for any damages but in case of a layoff you the companies are actually offering you severance package amazing severance package i mean so much so that people are actually willingly i've seen people willingly take the layoff because the severance package was so amazing so that's that's the final point i have so i mean in the end i would just say that when you're starting your career don't look for money first thing when you're just getting started earn the knowledge i mean if if you've seen that movie three idiots like run behind excellence money will follow and it's so true right because if you if you have the knowledge if you are an expert in your field right if you are if you have i mean devops is like a very wide field right you have hundreds and thousands of tools to every new, every other day, day there's a new tool that comes in so obviously you will not be an expert of all the tools but even if you have command on like a couple of tools that you're very good at trust me you are going to earn a lot of money in especially in this field so don't run behind the money initially look for knowledge learn lot of stuff there's lot of stuff to learn learn that and get that exposure of a big company how things work how businesses are working and then probably once you are familiar when you are comfortable 5 7 years in job you know how things are working how market is behaving then probably you can just go ahead and do freelancing right i mean you can take individual projects if you, when you when you have that kind of confidence that you you'll be able to do large scale project uh, individually just go ahead and do, do that 